At the 28th annual general meeting of GCB Bank PLC, board chairman of the bank, Jude Kofi Arthur, noted that despite the global and domestic economic challenges due to the pandemic, the financial performance of the bank was strong. The bank achieved a profit before tax of 831.98 million Ghana cities, representing an increase of 36.2% over the previous year. Profits after tax grew by 28.5% to hit 572.28 million Ghana cities after adjusting for a 5% levy applied on the profits before tax of the bank following the enactment of the Financial Sector Recovery Act 2021, Act 1067. According to him, the approval of the dividend for shareholders follows the Bank of Ghana's approval. Speaking at the annual general meeting, board chairman of the bank noted that the amount, which is a 100% increase compared to the 2020 figure of 25 pesos, will be paid on 1st August 2022. The strong financial performance was underpinned by strong internal collaboration among business units and support functions, which contributed immensely to growth in revenue and efficiency in our operations. The bank recorded significant growth in profitability, and our capital adequacy is strong, well over the regulatory minimum prescribed by the Bank of Ghana. On the basis of this, the board recommends a dividend of 0.50 CDs per share, representing a 100% increase from 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my understanding that the Bank of Ghana has approved this. This, this reflects the board's ongoing confidence in the bank's strength and its future prospects. Our strong and resilient balance sheet, diversified business mix, and our improving profitability give us the financial strength to continue to make the right investments while returning to our shareholders a steady and increasing flow of dividends. Managing Director of GCB Bank PLC, Kofi Adomako, indicated that the marginal growth in its profits recorded for the last year can be attributed to the challenging environment. He assured of the company's strategy to increase revenue and deliver an even better performance in the years ahead. We basically uh, deepened our customer interaction we broadened our medium of engaging our customers through a more efficient platform and we are beginning to understand the needs of our customers better. We also managed to diversify uh, our products and diversity, therefore diversify our income and we are looking forward to doing so uh, in the coming year. It was basically from analyzing and uh, 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 understanding the customer uh, uh, expectation.